Ileife, the sacred heart of the Yoruba people, a land that is rich in history and spiritual significance. As a cradle of Yoruba civilization, Ileife holds a unique place in the annals of history. Having bettered many of us who left Ileife, the source to establish settlements across Yoruba land. One such illustrious figure was Dirin Ologbenla, the 45th Orni of Ife, who reigned from 1880 to 1894. As a great king from the GSC ruling house, or Nidarin's legacy is interwoven with the legends and traditions of this ancient kingdom. His reign succeeded that of Orni Orariba and was followed by Orni Adelikon Olubushi Akoko before the appointment of the current Orni Obadi Yenito Obusi or Jajai Lekeji. Or Nidarin Ologbenla was the last descendant of the BSC house to hold the esteemed title. Though his full name was Soku Adirin Soye, he was fondly known as Derin, a name that echoed through the corridors of time. His priest name Ologbenla, meaning one who inflicts heavy wounds, speaks of his formidable reputation as a warrior and leader, as a warrior prince. Soko during Ologbenla led his army to victory over the old rules. Uh, at this point, it's important to also let you know that the meaning of Soko is a prince of Ife. Soko Lakpe and Wotobaje or Mobali Ife. Or Nidarin's prowess as a warrior prince was legendary. He had served as Balogun under Maye Ukwadi in Ibadan. But following Maye's downfall, in a revolt orchestrated by the Oyos and Egbas, Tohoku Derin returned to Ileife. There he assembled his elite force, renowned for their valor and expertise in defending the weak and oppressed. His first campaign as a military leader was to support the Itesha in their struggle against the Oyo forces. Derin's unique battle tactics were known to be that of invincibility. It was said that he would invoke charms to render himself invincible, striking down his enemies with such speed and steel that only the aftermath of heads and bodies severed off remained visible. As a result, leaders from far and wide sought his assistance in their own conflicts. One of these requests came from Ajibike, an Ifa priest and advisor to Orni Abiwila who served between 1839 and 1849. Adibike, then currently serving the Osemawi of Ondo, Oba Arilikolasi, called upon Tsuhoko Derin to liberate the Osemawi from a rebellion by his own subjects. Prince Derin, who was then aiding the Idesha, redirected his forces towards Ondo. This decision, though contentious among the Idesha, demonstrated his unwavering commitment to justice. He first dispatched spies to assess the situation in Ondo, and upon receiving their reports, he gathered a coalition of warriors from various regions including Ife, Egba, Uwu, Jesha, Ofa, and even Oyo. The journey to Ondo was arduous. With 75 soldiers, they made his way encountering an Ife hunter named Ujoge along the path. They decided to rest at this location, which would later become Ukeigo. However, that night, Ujoge disappeared, reappearing the next day in the morning only to confess his own betrayer. He had informed the Ondo people of the approaching army of Sohoku, Deni Ologbenla. For this, he was executed, though a stream he discovered would forever bear his name. Odo Juge, even till date. As anticipated, the Ondo forces were ready, gathered at Odo Sida to confront Derin's army. But Derin's mastery of mystical hearts once again prevailed. He became invincible, unleashing chaos upon the Ondo warriors. The battle ended in a decisive victory for Prince Derin and his troops, who then returned to the site they had named Okeibo. Though they arrived too late to save the Osimawe, Tsuhoko Derin ensured the deceased king received a proper barrier and installed a new leader for the town. The legacy of Ukeibu was thus cemented with its five ruling cultures, the Ologbenla, Ajibike, Eleyuwu, and 
Wole. Despite his accession to the throne as Oni of Ife in 1880, Oni Daniel Ogbenla remained passionate about Okego, a town he had founded as a Sohoku from Ile Ife, demonstrating his deep affection for the town. He served as Oni until his death in 1894. Today, Okego stands in the Ile Uluji local government area of Ondo State, affectionately known as the Small Jerusalem. Its people, deeply rooted in Ife customs and traditions, reflect a rich culture of the Yoruba heritage. Okeigbo's history as a center of prosperous farming, particularly in cocoa production, further underscores its importance in Yoruba land. Today, we remember all Nidiri Ologbenla, not just as a warrior king, but as a symbol of resilience and leadership. Oh, 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 oh,